we are never fully healed. First off, I'd like to start with reminding you that healing is not a race. We are hardly ever fully healed, so please remember to have compassion and patience in this journey of self-exploration. We live at a time when we have so much information on self-improvement, but what I'm noticing more and more is that a lot of people dive so deep into the idea of, I need to be fully healed, that they forget about the balance of life. Many are running around like headless chicken trying to jump from one trauma to the other, at one point finding themselves thinking, there are so many things wrong with me. That is not how healing should be approached, and in actuality, this approach could cause much more sorrow than relief. There isn't much use to it. Heal one aspect at a time and take breaks to enjoy life. This is very important. This is the reason why I ask my clients to take enough time between their introspective hypnosis sessions or any other techniques of deep healing. Healing should take place when your soul and body is ready for it, not when you push yourself to do so. If you look carefully, life usually shows you what needs attention at that time. So let's talk about it. I personally see four main stages of healing. First, signal or sign. Second, observation and healing. Third, implementation or execution. Fourth, break or time off. As an example, let's use the fear of vulnerability. First, signal or sign. You start noticing that you are being faced with situations that ask for you to be vulnerable or your fear of vulnerability keeps screwing things up for you. You clearly see the impact it has on your romantic or platonic relationships and most importantly, this fear keeps you from living from your heart. When we do not live from our hearts, a lot of times our joy isn't as authentic and can lead us to lack of fulfillment and meaning of life. Second, observation and healing. You decide that it is time for you to travel back to the first time when you put your defenses up, when openness was not appreciated, when hurt or betrayal took place. That's when healing starts taking place. There is no time frame in which you are supposed to heal from it. And healing does not always mean fully overcoming the fear. Actually, a lot of times it means feeling it, but not letting it stop you from trying. Third, implementation or execution. This, in my eyes, is the foundation of healing and growth. See, if we spend so much time on stage two and we do not go out to the world and implement our knowledge, what is the point? If you look carefully after stage two, life always throws an opportunity or way to test what you have learned so far. A lot of times I see people dig into the origin of their fear of vulnerability, but when it comes to practice, they do not take that leap. In case of fear of vulnerability, the next step to take is to put yourself out there. Call a friend and open up like never before. Go on a date and be clear with your feelings and values. Try living from your heart more. Yes, it will be uncomfortable at first. Remember, you are reprogramming yourself. A beautiful thing about vulnerability is that it gives space for others to open up too. Soon enough, you'll find yourself in deeper friendships, relationships that honor your heart, because you took a chance to honor yours. Fourth, break or time off. This stage asks you to remember to pat yourself on the back and reward yourself for the effort you are putting in. It is important not to jump into another phase of deep healing straight away. Remember, transformation takes place not only on the physical, but energetic levels. These two do not share the same schedule. A break is important to allow everything to fall into places to rest, to go on a trip, to spend time with loved ones, to just be and breathe in life. Just remember, whilst you are on a so-called break, you are still continually observe the change in your responses to triggers. May this video be a reminder for you of the importance of stage three and four in the journey of growth. If you know anyone who needs to hear this, feel free to share. And until the next time, my tribe.